In this video, I will compare Fresha versus Square and tell you which of these appointment scheduling and payment tools may be best for you and your business. So first, let's cover who they are for and basically who they cater to, starting with Fresha. So Fresha is specifically created for local beauty and wellness services. So if you have a service-based business that is in the industry of beauty or wellness, then Fresha is for you. You can see under their services right here, they have massages and hairstyling, nails, eyebrows, barbering, hair removal, and more. Now, what I like a lot about Fresha is that they have this marketplace. So if you just head over to Fresha.com, you can see today, for example, already 382,000 appointments have been booked in through Fresha. So if you are a local beauty or wellness business and you are looking to get appointments, then Fresha may be best for you since it has the built-in marketplace that you can also be added to. Now let's compare to Square. And specifically, I will compare it to Square appointments. Now they both also have payment terminals like the ones that you can see right here. Now if you own a restaurant, then Square is better for you because Square is really good for restaurants. Now you will see they also have beauty as one of their industries and in terms of products they have appointments pos hardware invoices an online store payment links you can set up your stuff payroll banking marketing messages and they have integrations now if you click on appointments right here you will be taken to square points i've actually tried it and it's very very simple to use so they will help you simplify your scheduling, maximize your POS, run your business and put people first. Now in terms of pricing for Square appointments, you can see right here they have a free plan available which gets you the basics to run your own business while staying ahead of schedule. And the plus plan is more advanced features for growing teams that offer top-notch service. This one costs $29 per month per location. And then they have the premium plan, which is a complete plan that meets complex booking and staff management needs at $69 per month per location. Now, if you scroll down, you can see the exact fees right here. So for example, the processing rate per transaction for in-person payments is 2.6% plus 10 cents in the free plan. Then for online bookings, 2.9% plus 30 cents. Then for manually entered, 3.5% and 15 cents. And for after pay, it's 6% and 30 cents. Now, when we compare this to Fresha's pricing, this is really where Fresha shines. Fresha, first of all, doesn't have any paid subscriptions unless you want some additional features, but pretty much every single feature in Fresha can be used for free. Now, all you need to pay is the processing fees. So they also have a card terminal, but you can see it's super cheap. They have fees 1.29% plus 20 cents for online and in-person transactions. So remember that 1.29% and 20 cents and on Square for in-person and online, it's 2.6 and 2.9% and 10 cents and 30 cents respectively for in-person and online payments. So this is a lot more expensive than Fresha's fees. And that is even well with Fresha, you get access to all of its premium features, except for one or two that require a monthly subscription completely without any subscription fees. Well, in Square, you only get that when you do pay $29 to $69 per month per location. So I would use Fresha if you are looking for the most affordable tool and you can use it for any of these right here. I would also use Fresha if you are looking to get more customers because they will help you do that through their marketplace. And if you're looking for the easiest to use option, I would also go with Fresha. On the other hand, I would go with Square. First of all, if you have a restaurant or none of these businesses right here, if you have anything else from these businesses right here, then I would go with Square. Now also, if you are looking for some additional features such as managing payroll, and even getting loans or setting up a bank account, then that can all be done through Square. So Square gets you some more advanced features and integrations, and that does make it more complex, but it can also be better. So if you have a bunch of locations and you own a really big service-based business, then Square may also be best. But if you have a smaller business, maybe you have one or maybe even two locations, then Fresha I think is best. Now, if you look at their customer reviews on Trustpilot, 
Fresha currently has 1537 reviews and scores 4.4 stars out of 5. Now when we compare this to Square, you can see that Square in the US has over 5000 reviews with 4.3 stars, so they have a very similar score. So in terms of customer reviews, it's clear that these are both awesome tools and whether you pick Fresha or Square, you will most likely be happy with your decision. But again, for smaller businesses and businesses that want to have the easiest and cheapest tool while also getting the possibility to get new customers should go with Fresha and larger businesses and businesses that Fresha doesn't specialize in should go with Square. So that concludes this comparison of Fresha versus Square. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.